In today's video, we're talking about failure. Why it happens, how it happens, and how to get through it. Today, I failed. I got a new job. I've been doing deliveries super early in the morning. And the last two and a half weeks over the holidays, I've been training. And today was my first day by myself. On the third point on my delivery route, uh, I threw my back out. And it was so bad that I took some pain pills, ibuprofen and Tylenol, and I literally sat there for an hour, unable to breathe. And I was like, how am I going to finish this run without disappointing people? And that was my first reaction. Who am I going to disappoint? And why do I feel so bad at disappointing them? I was, I was scared of disappointing my wife, first of all. I was scared of disappointing my father-in-law, who got me the job in the first place. And I just... And I thought about my boss and him having to come pick up the truck with me in it, finish the deliveries by himself. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. Like, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I beating myself up over a failure? Like, I threw my back out, you know. It was an accident. So I sat there in this freezing cold truck super early in the morning. It was like 4.30 in the morning. And I'm thinking to myself, jeez. Can life punch me in the face any harder? So I sat there, I waited for about an hour or so before the pain pills kicked in and then I was able to breathe and I was like, cool, I think I got this. And you know, I, I slowly finished all my deliveries. Instead of taking stacks, you know, full arms every single time I walked to the truck, it was like two or three little things. Like it was less than five pounds. I felt like such a worthless person. I couldn't even use my own muscles. And as a man, like not being able to be physically able to do something is just depressing. So financially, couldn't do the job. Physically, couldn't do the job. And those are the two like main requirements of being a man. And I couldn't do them. And I just felt so upset with myself, so depressed that I had gotten to this state in one day. So needless to say, a job that I normally finish by 10 a.m., I finished around 2 p.m. And I, all I could think about was quitting this job. I, was, I figured it was better to lose a job than lose my spine and have to pay for medical bills. But again, I had this fear of judgment of other people. And so I immediately talked to my father-in-law who got me the job. And I asked him, I was like, look, man, I can't do this. I'm sorry, Are, would you be offended if I quit? And he's like, dude, don't worry about it. Like, you know, we'll figure something else out. And then I just recently talked to my wife and I was so nervous talking to her to tell her like, hey, I want to quit this job. I can't do it anymore. That I was sweating. Like I was physically sweating because I was so consumed with what she was going to think of me, like her judgment on me. And... And I, her opinion matters to me. I care about her a lot. And it was just, today was a very, it was kind of a, a soul crushing day. Like it kind of just like punched me in the gut and then just kept hitting me while I was on the ground. So I just got off the phone with my boss. I told him that I was quitting and that he could pick up the keys to the truck or that I could bring them to him. And, you know, it's like, three, four, five people that I like really disappointed today and I feel super crappy about it. But, you know, that's life. Like, these are the things that happen in life. And even I tried to record this video on my good camera with my good microphone and that didn't even work for me today. No battery, couldn't find the memory card. Like, it was just nonstop gut punches all day. So you're getting nice iPhone footage today. What do you think? Good audio? Sometimes you can't help when negative things happen in your life. Sometimes they just happen randomly. You just kind of got to go with the punches. Sometimes it's your fault. Like today was probably my fault. I was probably lifting too much and I threw my back out knowing that it was like not the strongest back in the world. But like I'd been doing this for three weeks and nothing happened. And then today just <sniffs> failure sucks. You have to acknowledge that it happened to you. You have to be okay that it happened to you. I know you're upset. I know I'm upset. I know I'm kind of like 
I'm just pissed. I'm completely consumed with other people's opinions of the fact that it happened and that I let them down, but it happened. And all I can do is think about the next step and move forward. There's no purpose. There's no reason. And there's no logical there's nothing beneficial from dwelling on what happened. It happened. I need to move on. I know I have other options. What I really want to give to you and have you take something away from this video is one, it's okay to fail. Whether it's your fault or it happened on accident, it's okay. I know the judgment of other people really, really sucks. But once you get through that step of discussing how you feel with those people and then, you know, what your plan is to change it. Cause you can't just like, I don't know. You just can't fail and like give up. You have to have a plan to keep moving forward. So once you have that conversation with those people whose judgment and opinions matter to you, have that conversation, explain what your next plan is and then move on. Like there's no sense in dwelling. I'm not going to dwell on this. I'm going to get back at it tomorrow I'm going to keep grinding, I'm going to keep hustling, I'm going to keep making videos, and it's just the way that life is. You cannot give up. Once you give up, there's no point in living any longer. I hope you guys got some value out of this. I hope I could help you out. I hope that if you have any failures now or in the past or in the future that you can look to this video and think like, hey, everybody fails. Like, I got this. Let's just keep moving forward. And I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.